Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Trigon Space Story Early Access. Uh, so, this is gonna be a little weird. I have the Early Access version that the developers sent me. I don't have the demo, and so I'm not actually sure what the differences are gonna be between the demo and what I'm playing. Uh, but, I mean, ultimately it's gonna be the same game, but if you've never heard of this game before, it is effectively a FTL su successor, not made by the FTL developers at all, but by people that were very clearly fans of the game and wanted to make it, but like a little bit better in 3D and some other things. And so I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. I loved FTL, kind of. My brother was way better at it than me, so I usually just hung out while he played, and I just hang in and chat and goof. But uh, I guess without further ado, let's get going. Uh, let's see. So we can be the Human Explorer or the Atari Cruiser. Ooh. Let's, um, I don't know, show systems. So, shield generator to O2 generator. So, what are the differences? Let's go aliens. Let's go with these guys. Why not? Okay. Paranoia, diligent nerd, martial artist. I mean, why not? Don't look like I've got anything else to start. It looks like there's quite a lot of different starting ships. Plus, A, B, and C variants as well. That'll be fine. And nothing new, uh, like the same as FTL. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, how long since FTL was released? Gosh. Eight years? Nine years? It's been a while since FTL came out. I figure at this point, uh, the... I'm not gonna say the IP, the style, is fair game for somebody making a successor. Anyway, after shaking off another Ven Ven uh, Venator Patrol... You're trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear that a bounty is put on your head. It's a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your, your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows pretty well where to go to ground. Okay, quest received. Something happened. Okay. Captain. Oh! The, uh, the captain's... Or the bridge is actually in the front there. A dig? Now this is door control. Oh! No. There, there is at least one external door on this ship. And there's like a bunch on this side for some reason. Weird. Alright. What weapons do I have? Blaster turret. Bomb teleporter. Ooh! Spooky. And twin plasma turret. So 10, 10, 15, and 10. I have no idea what those numbers mean. I guess we'll find out as we go along. So we can go to Akmar Algebraic. And... Bait and Kaidos, which, that's... Oh, is that where I'm going? That is where I'm going. Bait and Kaidos is straight up a, uh, a JRPG on the GameCube. Yeah, it's been nine years since FTL came out. Ooh, god, uh, that was weird. There's some kind of noodle flying going. Oh, because Aselius Primus is apparently unreachable from this direction. Let's just go. I don't know where we're gonna... How this is gonna go. And we're probably gonna get wrecked, but that's fine. Upon your arrival of the system, you're contacted by a local con colony of miners. It looks quite poor and abandoned. Thank the gods, someone didn't turn a deaf ear to our calls. Sir Captain, we're constantly being attacked by Telkatin's pirate fleet that plunders our settlements. We can't count on the new rain to protect us, and the Venators don't care about us. We beg you, help us. Alright, arrange a surprise attack on a Terrakton ship when it comes. You're expecting a new Terrakton's attack on the... I don't even know how that's... Terrakton's attack on the colony, which happens two hours later. You activate the... Hmm, you activate the weapon systems and catch them unaware. Ooh. Minimal shields. I... I forgot to turn my weapons on before this. Okay, so it looks like I've only got one. I guess we're just shooting for their... We're just shooting for their guns. Let's move in on the shields. Oh, it looks like they've got a little fighter craft. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of juice. That's what's getting me. There we go.
Oh, here we go. Automatic fire, ripple fire. I don't know what automatic is. But I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wail on their weapons. If I can. Just give them no quarter. Ship is collapsing, but I don't think they've actually managed to do a whole lot of damage. Oh, that's... That's stinky. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm missing a fair bit here. Uh, let's speed this up a bit. I think we've got this. We've barely taken any damage. The biggest issue is just that they've got that little drone. Oh, but we got their weapons down. Okay. Got him. I wonder what ripple fire means. Thanks for your help. I doubt they'll show up so soon after such a bashing. Meanwhile, we'll come up with some good ideas. Take this small reward and appreciation for your help. Okay, bounty goes up. We get some fuel. We get some drone replicants. Scrap credits and more credits. All right, so for starters, let's go to this. Cargo hold? No. Systems? Maybe. I'm going to upgrade the... Uh I'm going to upgrade my shields. Okay, and then turn that back up. Looks like my door systems took a hit, too. Oh, it looks like Chernal also took a hit. What's this? Okay, you're in a nebula. Influences sensors, making them useless. But it also hides you from the patrol. Okay, so let's just go in here. Chip kind of looks like a Naboo fighter. I can see that. Now, does it say, ah, controlled by an operator, extra evasion. I gotta check this real quick. If I have somebody manning weapons, 10% reload speed. What's more valuable? 5% evasion or reload speed? I don't actually know. Alright. Well, let's go for Alpha Rats. You get a message from the nearest prison planet. They offer you a paid task to transfer a prisoner. Will you listen to their offer? Sure. I welcome you, an unidentified ship. I'm entitled to offer you a job in exchange for Ven Venator's services. You will have to transfer the prisoner in cryosleep. The task is an easy one, and the destination point is not far away. Will you take it up? Let's see. Atari bounty over three. Buy the prisoner. Can I? The possibility of buying the prisoner out made your Atari highly enthusiastic about it. He seems to have recollected his childhood. It's known that each Atari has a personal slave and is eager to take the prisoner with him. You don't stand his way. I was stand in his way. Astonished how crafty Atari are when it comes to sparing credits. Okay, we've got... We've got a third person. All right. You are now my weapons. My heavy weapons, dude. Looks like he's more of a melee character than anything else. Uh, crew. Uh, Darka, Rocky. Okay, Resilience. Doesn't lower morale, has more HP, doesn't learn very fast, and requires more food. That's a bit of a downer, but you know what? I'll make it work. Okay. Where am I going? I don't know. Let's go to Jabba. Uh, what's up with this? Yeah, perk with pl plus food. Yeah, it's a shame. Find yourself right in the battlefield. It had been over long before you were born, though. You're in the memor you're in a memorial s system. There we go. I don't like this text. It's weirdly hard to read for me. Anyway, you see the old ships of the Federation and the ones of the adversary party, the insurgents. The Venators carefully preserved their history. You're trying to remember how the Federation won, but then your engines finally got charged and your mind gets blank before the leap. All right, so nothing cool to do here. 
black hole. Yeah, nothing fancy. All right. Let's go for Kuma. I'm going to take my time. I'm sure we're going to get out difficulty here, but I don't care. While leaping into the system, you come across a large mining ship. You've never seen such a whopping ship before. However, you know that such ships are used, used to be dubbed Planet Annihilators, and they can recycle a whole planet for valuable resources. There's no answer from the ship, though it looks fully operational. Will you come closer? Come closer. Ship looks up and running, though no one's answering. You can try and dock with it and learn what's going on here. Or you can fly the ship around and search for a better way. Fly it around. While flying the ship around, you notice no damage on the ship's body at all. You even saw light in some of the cabins. Still no one answered you. You were circling the ship for a couple of hours, but didn't get the guts to dock on it. On the positive side, you gather, gathered a lot of materials. Fair enough. Okay, let's just hit up this. I'm digging the music on this. Venators are robbing a colony of former federations... Uh, of the former federation right in front of you. Being a renegade admiral, you must do something about it. Can't turn an, a blind eye to it. Destroy it in a single shot? Can I? Bam! After loading the weapons, you make a single shot to smash several Venator ships into scrap pieces. Terrified, they begin to retreat. But you're so fast as to destroy the rest of their ships before they disappear. The colony residents are glad and wish to repay you for their rescue. Alright, so we get some morale, we get a lot of food. Let's see, and let's head for Bait and Kaidos, just because I really would like to play this game at some... Uh, uh, Bait and Kaidos at some point. I hope... I hope they come up with, like, a remaster on a modern platform. You cutscenes them. Hell yeah! While approaching the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there's something wrong. The stations are silent. No ships in view. You notice strange emissions on your radars that come from waste, recy from waste recycling modules. Where's everyone? I need to find Roddy, Ronnie in this whole mess ASAP. Send one of your crew members to look around. Sometime later, he reports the station was assaulted by strangers. Many sentient creatures were killed. Tertikons were destroyed. Strange symbols and the words Trigon on the walls scare him. There's some translation issues with this. Oh. Soon he comes across a Tertikon in the recycling module without any evidence of damage and takes it to the ship. Okay, we got a body. The asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. The answers are hidden inside the lucky ticket. According to the signs on its body, its number is 213114. It'll be hard to turn it on. Half its brains got burnt out. You need to find someone who will restart it despite the prohibitions. If possible, it should be another Terdekan that has already reconsidered its life. Looks like you'll have to go to a pirate station. There's no other place where you can find a Terdekan that can turn on another robot for money. Okay, Den Sweet Den. Where am I going on this one? All the way out there. Now, I would ideally like to go places that I haven't been before. Maybe. Okay, when leaping into the system, see a strange thing. There's a Venator ship aiming at an old station. Strangely enough, the flags of the station belong to the long-perished Human Federation. Come closer. Station's commander gets in touch with you. He introduces himself as an admiral. Rather calmly describes the situation to you. Greetings, stranger. Don't worry, it's just an abandoned Venator ship with a patrol tracker. We use it to ward off Venators from the system. Let's have a chat over a glass of hyperdrive condensed fluid. Sure. Let's chat with him. You dock and enjoy some rest. The station looks like it used uh, look, looks like it used to before the new rain came into power. You're overwhelmed by pleasant nostalgia, and the admiral shares some resources with you for your flight. A couple hours later, you're back on your ship, all fat and happy. There are many trials ahead, but it's nice to realize you can find some good people in the galaxy. Hey, morale and a lot of food. You know how we have the the hungry hungry buggo? Hungry hungry buggo is uh, ooh oh I didn't realize he's. Holy shit, this guy's got good skills! He's got level 2 in, like, everything! Dang! Alright. He might not learn fast, but... Dude actually kick, kicks some butt. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to... Cut through the way... That I've been before. That's fine. 
Uh, let's go to Jabal. I guess I gotta go to Arcab Posterior, which I haven't been to before. Yeah, next gen FDL. It certainly feels like that. Upon your arrival at this system, you're contacted by a local colony of miners. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing. It's fight time, but this time, I got the big guns. Alright, let's turn off the hyperdrive. Turn this on. Let's just aim for the, uh... Let's just aim for the shields for the time being. Okay. Now that's going... Oops, that's the wrong one. Never mind, they got their shields back up already. If I can keep their shields down... Where are you aimed at? Oh, I don't have auto-fire on. Actually, let's turn their drone off. If I can manage it. Because I think that drone's going to be more annoying than their actual guns. So not quite the same enemy ship, but you know what? It's fine. Thanks for the help. Alright, same as usual, so we get a lot of supplies. No food, though. That's okay. Oh, upon entering the system, you stumble, acro stumble across a venator. The ship is ready to fight, and it seems like you can't escape it. The Annihilator-class ship greets you. The new reign considers you to be dangerous individuals and grants you a reward for, grants a reward for your annihilation. Thank you for crossing my path. Get ready to fight. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be a bit more of a doozy, but I my weapons are already warmed up. Theirs, on the other hand, are not. Alright. Uh, I think we just chill. Oh, there goes the weapons. They got missiles. That's fun. Okay. All guns to his guns. I want to take his shields out, but... Uh, we can't take those missiles. I'll switch this over to light. Unfortunately, uh, my enemies seem to be way better engineers than I care to deal with. Uh, let's see, do I want to turn anything off for the bomb teleporter? Unfortunately, I don't think we... Yeah, we don't have enough juice. There we go. Yeah, I haven't used the teleportation bomb yet. Next time, I'll give that a shot. Alright. Pick up the battle. We get some stuff. Alright, let's take a look. Yeah, so upgrading this further is going to be a bit tough. Oh, day passed. I'm still going to do it. Oh, air leakage detected. I don't know if that's really much of an issue, but yeah, we should definitely have these guys heal while we're here. I was thinking of more shields, but I don't think we're there yet. What I was thinking is specifically going for... Uh, going for the captain's chair is always worth it because it gives you a lot of evasion. Oops. At least I thought. I have to take a look at this. 
Okay. After an upgrade, an autopilot system is added, which allows the ship to evade a threat without a pilot. It says 50% evasion. Is that overall a 50% evasion as long as autopilot is going, or... I... I honestly wish I knew. Oh, I still have a hole somewhere? It's probably back here. Okay, there we go. Oh, is there a... Uh, is there a way to save placements? I know you could do that specifically in... Nah, it doesn't look like it. Was it I know you could do that very specifically in FTL. Where you could tell your guys to go exactly like back to their spot every single time. I'm not seeing it here, though. Okay, so we're going, uh, Sabalrai. But Sabalrai has some, I, I think it has a station, so I might be able to buy stuff. While flying through the system, you come across a trade station. Such places are usually good for the advantageous exchange of resources or buying something at a bargain price. You enter the station without a second thought. Maybe this time you'll find what you need. Uh, but I get attacked. Okay. Wait, my hyperdrive wasn't on. What? Alright. That's confusing. I don't know what kind of weapon he has, but... I mean, if I can keep those shields and those weapons off, nothing... nothing scares me. There we go. Oh, that was nice and easy. Oh. Hyperdrive gives evasion, I think. Okay. Wait. No. That's not what I want. Station. There we go. Okay. Shipyard. Bar. Hospital. Market. Police. Shipyard. Okay, so repairing the ship is pretty expensive. Would use up most of my money. Bar. Would let me hire somebody if I wanted to get another person to manage things. Market. Okay, so I could buy. Scrap. A bomb teleporter. A laser drone. Rocket launcher. Speed fire rockets, drones, and more scrap. None of the weapons strike me as particularly incredible. I see, it wasn't repaired just a hundred. It was a hundred per. So, yeah, if I wanted to repair all of my hull, it would cost a fair bit. Let's do that, and then go back to the market. It's seven a pop. Oh, times five. There we go. I'm gonna just buy scrap until I'm out of money. I figure scrap, we have tons of food. Ah, we don't actually have that much food anymore. That's fine. Um. How do I leave? Back. Okay, there we go. I figure scrap is probably going to be incredibly useful for just getting more things. Oh. So it looks like the evasion here. So, the autopilot upgrades that I got, they just give me 50% of whatever this value is. Uh, 
So, if I'm using autopilot, we only would have a 10% chance to evade. Let's see. The only immediate problem is I might have to invest a lot of points in that. To actually really pull it off. Let's just do shields for the time being. Nope. Alright, aim big guns there, big guns there. And we missed. Oh no, we got the weapons. Okay. This seems like it's an okay strategy. I'd like to get some more just like basic guns or something. Okay. That's hyperdrive. I guess I should probably fix that in case we've got... I mean, it might even be worth... No, it's not worth keeping them in the hyperdrive. Yeah, I don't have anything to spend any money on. Let's go back to the captain's chair. I think we've thoroughly wrecked their weapons, maybe? I know. I feel like we've thoroughly wrecked them one way or another. Yep, there we go. I don't think I took much of a scratch. I think I took a little bit of damage. Ooh, Prometheus rocket launcher and some rockets. Oh, is that telling me about my bounty level? All right, uh, in that case, let's go to the station for like one more second, go to the market and buy borders. Be pretty embarrassing if I starve to death out here. All right. And let's see, I'm going here. Fastest way is boy, that's a uh, circuitous route. Okay, you're offered a job as a courier in the system. The parcel doesn't look large, and the delivery address is not far away. Learn the terms of the delivery. Good day, Sakai. Deliver this box with the ashes to the mayor of a colony in the to his homeland. Sure. Okay, I got a parcel. And we've got another Venator. Boy, they're just relentless here. <laughs> they're relentless. That isn't necessarily a big deal. As long as I can keep his guns down, nothing scares me. I hope we can find some more interesting guns later on, though. Hopefully we get integrated mod support. FDLs was kind of meh. I would love to see that, yeah. Just even the capacity for just making some custom weapons and stuff would go a long way. Or events and maps. You can tell where the gun when their guns become active again, because they do that whoop, animation. I love it. Honestly, fighting these guys has not been too bad for me. It's the it's the dudes with the missile launchers that are spooky. Yeah, I'm just flying without my uh, hyperdrive powered. I think that's a bug. Upon arriving in the system with gates, you recognize the colors and decals of the ship guarding the gates. There can't be any mistake. It's Peacemaker, one of the Federation di diplomatic cruisers. Despite its name, the ship was mostly engaged in espionage and undesired aims annihilation. What? and undesired aims annihilation rather than diplomatic missions. It was among the first ships that joined the colors of the new reign, and they're definitely waiting for you. Wasn't the Peacemaker straight up the, uh, the Republic cruiser in the previous game? I want to say so, but it's been a while. Okay, so it does look like they've got an auto drone. I'm probably just gonna aim for the usual. We've got some hella shields, so as long as he doesn't have missiles, I don't know what that gun is. No, it looks like he's got a beam. But yeah, whatever drone he can spit out doesn't threaten me too much. I 
But yeah, Steam Workshop support would go a very long way to making this game incredible. Too much incoming damage, we're fine. We're gonna just try and put holes in his shields permanently. I think we're fine, we've tanked up pretty hard. I'm digging the music. It's it's got some flavor to it. Yeah, the, those 40 shields were worth it. I think 30 might have been able to cope, but it would have been close. 40 is that that nice safety sweet spot. Oh, shields are down. Shields are down, but he only managed to hit me with an ion cannon. I was really hoping these guys would drop some good good weapons, though. Okay, leave the sector. New sector, new adventures. You can enjoy the flight while well, Venators haven't found you yet. Okay. Yeah, where was the... Oh, the quest. Oh, that was in Sharatan. Cripes. Uh, we'll think about that later. Yeah, you lose some bounty when you switch systems. You offer the job as a courier. Terms? Sure. It's the same one. Okay, but this one's a lot closer. Kind, kinda. Oh boy. Why is this space map here all sorts of mazy? I don't like it. Okay. Upon your arrival, the system you're contacted contacted by a local oh, it's the same thing. Teach them to fight efficiently. Your crew explains to them how to use the old orbit defense system to adjust the shields to load the weapons and to get a bit more uh, to get a bit of moral support. It's all you need to do, fight the notorious robotic pirates. The miners thank you and give you some valuable supplies. Ooh, what's that? Ah, it's a drone. Cargo hold is full. Oh. I just... There we go. Note to self. Sell some stuff. What is in my cargo hold? Oh. A metric boatload of scrap. Dang. All right. Uh... Unfortunately, that costs days, which is actually really rough. Ever think that robots turning to piracy is the funniest thing ever? Absolutely. Okay, you see a rocky ship and try and get in touch with him. You turn your transmitter and connect to the rocky. However, all you hear is silent refusal. With the corner of your eye, you see that they're loading weapons. Alright, same deal as before. Uh, okay, they do have shields. I don't necessarily know what they're packing. I'm not really sure. Uh-oh. Oh, my captain got killed. Oh, they must have boarded me and I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's fine. Uh I it's it's okay because that is a perfect length for a one-off video. So, this game is very much FTL. Uh in a very good way. It is admittedly very FTL in a way that might make it seem overwhelmingly familiar to people that want something a little different. Uh and I kind of wish they pushed it a little bit further. Namely, uh I really wish, instead of having the uh, the ship upgrade system where you just uh, you level up your shields, 
I wish that there were different shield modules that you slot in just like weapons and different shields would have different effects. So you might have like hard shields that block missiles. You might have uh, shields that straight up reflect the lasers back at the enemy. Uh, you know, maybe just better all round balance shields. Shields with a lower cap, uh, like a lower maximum capacity, but a much faster charge. Um, or just no shields at all, but a like a fast heal on your ship. Or something like that. You know, just a bunch of interesting flavor there. Because unfortunately, I find this system is a little restrictive in a way that I'm fine with. But I, I could see it being so much more. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think for people that can look past the fact that, yes, it is very much a almost too faithful recreation of a lot of FTL. Uh, if you've been specifically looking for more FTL, this game is really going to scratch that itch. Only real complaint that I truly have is the translation needs to be... It needs another pass. Um, just because there were a number of points where I was just like, what is it even saying? Because uh, I think just the word usage was just a little wonky. Uh, but I, I liked it a lot. And I love the visuals. Old FTL, great. And honestly, maybe even better. But like, these are some sweet ships and I can respect that a lot. But, for now at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because uh, I've got a lot of indie games to check out, and I'll be back for this one, because, like I said, I like me some FTL, and this really does scratch the itch. Uh, and I guess I can come back whenever, because I'm not playing the demo. I don't know what's in the early access version uh, that is different, but I think I might have a lot more access than uh, most people do, and that's kind of cool. But, for now at least, let's move on to the next game.